That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? graduation cards that says congratulations graduate it has a diploma on the front written in braille and it has a graduation cap and you open it It says, wishing you the best in your future. It is also written in Braille, also in Braille, um, the front and the inside. Have birthday cards. It says, happy birthday. It's also written in Braille. It has a dragon on it, and you can actually feel the texture of the dragon. May your day be filled with magic. And it's also written in Braille. Amber and I am on Third Eye Visions today. I'm going to be speaking about my Etsy store. Um, I make Braille greeting cards and I sell them on Etsy. Um, I've been doing this since 2012. And I got my start um, because I actually have a sister. My twin sister is completely blind. Um, and so I always had some issues with um, trying to find her cards and get her something that she could read for her birthday or Christmas or any other holidays, basically. And so I decided finally in 2012 that I was going to try and create something that not only she could use, but other people could use too. Um, and so I started my Etsy shop with about five designs. I think I started with um, a cupcake birthday card, a dragon and a crown. And then I also had a kite card that had some cotton uh, clouds on it. And I can't remember what my last one was, but anyways, I had a few cards and that's sort of what I started off with. And um, it grew from there. And in 2012, I was actually in graduate school. So I still managed to make cards and um, get my studies done. And then um, everything sort of took off a little bit uh, between then and 2014. And then I actually went overseas for a while and shut the shop down because I couldn't do shipping very well. So um, I ended up coming back in 2017 and things have been steadily growing since then. Um, so I've been back for a few years now and every year I come up with something new a few times a year and customers will come up with new things all the time too. So it's definitely cool to get ideas from them. Um, yeah, what else do you want? <laughs> Okay, well, just tell us about it. Uh, just give us an example of a, a day in the life of you making a car. How, you know, what is, how long does it take? What does it in, in, entail? Okay. Um, so, yeah, so when I make cards, um, it depends on what the person wants. I do grade one and grade two Braille. And for people who aren't familiar with the different uh, distinctions, Braille is um, a language that people read with their hands. And I know a lot of your... Um, your viewers are probably blind or visually impaired so they do know what that is but for anyone who's not um, people learn braille in a little bit of a different fashion so like for example when my sister was young she was five uh, in kindergarten and 
they had her learn grade one braille, which is where every character in the alphabet has its own symbol in braille and all of your punctuation and numbers and everything are all delineated through symbols. And then she stayed back in kindergarten for one more year to learn grade two, which has some rules to it. And the rules allow you to sort of conjugate your characters into um, one character for multiple letters. So if, for example, ing or whole words like day, um, ing is a, is, it's not one that I would say is a typical letter already, but day, for example, has a dot um, five and then a D. And so instead of t typing in D-A-Y, you just do dot five D and then people know that that means day. Mm. But there's a lot of rules too. So <laughs> the rules are fun to, to uh, traverse when you're sighted, especially because it's sort of, you know, you learn them in school when you're learning Braille as a kid or whenever you go blind and you're starting to learn Braille. Um, but as a sighted person, you have to just learn the rules by sight. And I, I can't feel Braille very well, although you can see I am wearing glasses. I do have some visual impairments, but I usually do it by sight for myself. Um, and so anyways, when a pe uh, person wants to have a uh, card made, they have the choice of having grade one or grade two. And some people will choose grade one if they know the person hasn't done braille very long or if they're giving it to someone who's sighted because they're blind, but maybe they want to give it to a friend who's sighted and have it be something special from them. Um, and then the grade two braille, obviously we work with people who have been blind for an extended amount of time. And so we use that for them to help them not have to read letter by letter by letter. Mm -hmm. um, and so <laughs> that is part of it. But then also they get to choose if there's print and braille or just braille on the card. And most people will choose to have print with the braille um, because not everybody is blind or maybe they don't want it to be just that the blind person sees it, but they still want the sighted people around them to be able to know what it says. Um, and so it sort of gives options in that sense. Um, and then I, I do um, tactile images on the front. And so a lot of those are made with foam or glittery foam or wood or whatever, depending on the image. But I really try and make the images something that I feel like a blind person would be able to know what it was if let's say they were blind their whole life and they'd never seen certain things. So like my sister, she had maybe some really residual vision as a child, but it wasn't anything to the effect of like really knowing what shapes, different shapes that things were or what colors looked like. Um, and so she she has a really great imagination and she'll tell me that I should make some design. Like she wanted me to do tap dancing swans. And I told her I didn't know if I could make that one because I'm not that artistic. <laughs> and two, because I didn't know if someone would know what it was like feeling it uh, mm -hmm. with my hands. And so a lot of the designs that I try and do are more simple um, things. I, I like to use pictures where they have um, very solid lines in them so that I can make really specific shapes. And, you know, so, for example, I did one. Um, a girl was coaching some blind athletes that were running. And so she asked me to do a card with a running shoe on it or a pair of running shoes. And, you know, of course, you'll know what shoes are when you're blind because you have to wear them, right? So you know what they feel like. But um, being able to do that in a way that it still like looked visually appealing, but also was able to be really felt and, oh, wow, okay, this is totally a shoe. Um, I was able to find a picture of some running shoes that had a lot of really solid lines in it so that I could make the outline and then cut the little pieces and have there be different colors and um, textures on it and then have um, I actually put laces on the shoes too so that was sort of fun um, but doing things like that or um, I just made a card yesterday for a guy who's going to propose to his blind girlfriend and he he only wanted words on it really but I said would you like an image and he said well I trust you you can do this yourself so um, I made a rose and I did it out of foam and I did it with some glitter foam and regular foam so that different pieces were easy to sort of feel that there was some differences in it. Um, and I don't know if she'll be able to tell that it's a rose. I don't know how blind she is, but, um, you know, it, I, it looks nice and hopefully it will feel nice too. So it's super exciting in that way, you know, to try and find things that, um, people will know what they are, uh, whether they've seen before or not. Okay, so so the cards not only do they have braille on them, they they also have like the the 
like more of a tactile type of uh, image where a blind mm-hmm. person okay that's cool yeah. um so um let's say if, if uh one wanted to get in touch with you mm-hmm. how can they get in touch with you about uh getting some cards made and things like that tell us the process that it takes so a lot of people get in touch with me via my etsy store and uh, if you go on etsy and you shop, uh, search in the shops for braille cards by amber uh, you should find my shop pretty easily um, but i've had a lot of people come to me in the last few years especially that have struggled really um, with screen reader technology and etsy is not very accessible in that way i guess and i don't have a screen reader on my computer so that's not something that I um, am able to play with. And I've tried to like talk to Freedom Scientific and say, hey, can I get a copy of Jaws? I wanna try this thing out. And they said no. So they told me I could pay them like a whole lot of money, a few thousand dollars or something for a license um, because what I wanna use it for and know that it works for is commercial. So they would consider it like I'm making money off of them when I'm not really, but I mean, I guess I am to some extent, but you know, for people who have screen readers, um, they struggle. So I, I usually end up getting emails from them. Um, and my email address is amber.r.morrison, M-O-R-I-S-O-N at gmail.com. Um, and so I definitely have at least three or four people that I regularly communicate with and get um, cards made for who are completely blind and, you know, have told me of their struggles with the Etsy shop. And so we just sort of communicate via email instead. Um, and I, I have a Twitter account as well, um, at Braille by Amber or at Braille Cards by Amber. Um, that one is also a place that I've gotten people um, ordering from. You know, I mean, obviously I've spoken to you on there, but then I have a couple of um, people. I have a girl from Texas who's gotten a number of cards and a couple of other people who have contacted me via Twitter, um, either th- through seeing a post that I did or seeing a post through one of their friends. And so, um, I'm I'm fairly accessible in that way. I don't have Facebook anymore. Um, I did for a while, but it wasn't really doing much. So um, I ended up sort of taking Facebook off completely. Even my regular Facebook is gone. So mm-hmm. I just stuck with Twitter and uh, email and Etsy. Okay, Etsy. How do you spell that? Um, e T S Y. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, are, are there certain cards that 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 except for? Are you able to do any type of course is what I was going to ask. Uh, sure. or any, any type of holiday, right? Yep. Um, so I have right now on the site, I don't have as many things up just because of everything going on with the pandemic. I've been trying to cut back on things. But um, uh, my most popular listings are the, the cupcake birthday card. Uh, that was one of the first ones, like I said, that I did. So that one's very popular. Um, the custom five by seven card, a lot of people order that because then they can get their own message in it, um, which all of my cards, I allow, um, a 300 character limit message of your own choosing. And, um, so it's $8 for, um, a four, I think it's four and a half by five and a quarter or four and a quarter by five and a half, um, inch card. And so that one. Uh, it usually comes with a little message in it and then people will add their own message. And if their message is really long, I might take my inside message out just because it's super, super long um, with Braille. Mm-hmm. But um, the five by seven card is very popular and I have a six by nine card, um, which doesn't allow for very much text, either Braille or otherwise, but it's still a bigger card. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do have like birthday, holidays, such as Valentine's Day, Christmas, uh, Hanukkah, um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, like all the different options, Easter, etc. If there's ever a holiday that's not represented and someone wants it, I'm totally happy to have people ask, you know, hey, I want this holiday. They can tell me what they like on there. I can, you know, work with them to find an image that suits what they want. Um, And maybe it'll end up becoming something, you know, of a listing because, there, I know there's, you know, holidays like Kwanzaa and Passover and different other holidays that I don't have represented, but it's not that I haven't thought about it. I just don't know what to do for an image. <laughs> so okay. so uh, you're, easy, you're easy to work with. I mean, you, you work, you're willing to work with people. Um, oh, for sure. Okay. And I've done, I've done some super cool, like non-card things. So um, I started doing gift tags a couple of years ago just for fun, like for my family and decided to put them online. And I think I sent you a gift tag that had a an emoji on it 
Um, but so I have, I mean, I've done some really interesting ones. I did a Jack Skellington for my um, boyfriend's niece and I did uh, some flowers and different other ones. And so, I mean, you can, the sky's almost the limit for the most part, depending on what you want to do. It depends, like with the gift tags, obviously those are small, so they're hard to put small images on and make it look right. But um, I've made picture frames, like wooden picture frames, and then they make those little buttons that, um, they're wood and they cover up when you put a screw into mm -hmm. some wood so mm -hmm. that it won't, you know, be showing. And so I turned that into braille. And so I've made picture frames where it said, like one of them said friends for life and had a picture of a boy and a guide dog. And the boy was actually the um, trainer of the guide dog and they gave the dog to a blind woman um, after he trained it. And so I had the picture of him and the dog and gave that to him because he missed having the dog in the house, you know? And so it was sort of cool um to give him that and then i had made a um a sign for the woman um and it has hooks on it so she can put the leash from the dog uh or put like her keys on it and it said the dog's name and had a, a dog bone hanging underneath it and stuff so like there's a lot of different things i've done i did a sign for somebody once um that was it said be our guest in print and braille um, and it had the outlines of the characters from Beauty and the Beast on it. And it was a, a woman customer who contacted me. Her sister was getting married and she had me do a letter for her sister because their father had died. And so it was a letter from him to her for her wedding. Mm. And then um, afterwards, she's like, hey, can you make me this sign? And I was like, well, sure, I guess I can try. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so I did. And she loved it, you know, so they hung that at their house and it was something they could have outside or inside. And um, I'd done that. I've done posters. I've done diplomas. I've done certificates and business cards. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of options. Some things are harder to do than others. But um, I think the thing that's gotten really big in the last few years has been wedding stuff. So mm -hmm. like wedding invitations and save the dates and announcements and stuff like that for the weddings. And so that I've almost thought about starting a separate Etsy store just for weddings. <laughs> because, okay. yeah, you know, definitely. It's, gotten, it's gotten pretty popular and I don't want those things to get buried in the shop and then have people not realize they could do so much. So, okay. So is it just you by, uh, or, or you and your sister who works? And the second question is, um, we'll answer that one first. Is it just um, you? So for now, it's me. Um, my sister is around. She's in Oregon and I'm in Washington. And so she does help with certain things. Um, she did a lot of stuff for me when I was selling Uno cards. Um, but because the National Federation for the Blind has teamed up with Mattel and made Braille Uno, I've sort of scaled that one back and stopped doing it because I don't want to take away from the money that NFB is getting. Um, but those were also very popular. I sold about 20 sets of Uno cards um, and those take a really long time to do, but she helped me a lot with that okay. as a braille embosser. And so I sent her the 17 pages of instructions and then she brailled them for me. You know, she could braille like 10, 10 packets worth in a couple hours and send them up here. So and that, <laughs> that was, was very my, helpful. That was going to be my next question. Who does the brailing? You, you said your sister does it, right? Uh, she does it for she did it for the big things, but I do it myself. Um, I have a Braille typewriter, and so I I use that, and uh, I do like each card is completely done individually. It's not done on any any sort of printer. Um, although my mom was just telling me that today, I talked to her this morning, and she said you need to get a Braille printer so that you can just do these cards really fast. And I was like, well, I could, but everybody wants something different in the card, so it's not like they just have a bunch of generic cards that are getting. Right. Off. like mm -hmm. basically everyone wants some sort of message in there so it would be hard to use the braille printer for that <laughs> <laughs> and what's the turnaround time if someone wants to get some cards from you like um, how long it depends on how many cards they want but usually i get them done you know I, on my etsy shop i list like five to seven days of turnaround but um depending on you know what i'm doing outside of you know i have a full-time job outside of this too so what depending on how much work is going on with that i can get them done in a couple of days and usually they get sent off pretty quick okay great well it's been a pleasure right? i've enjoyed what you're doing and i appreciate the fact that there are options as, as opposed to just getting the playing cards and what have you and you i've checked it out and they were great i'm gonna I'm definitely um put it together for you so with that being said why don't, why don't you tell everyone again where they can find you and all that good stuff all right well 
I want to thank you too for having me on. Um, you can find my cards on Etsy. Uh, so if you go to Etsy.com, E-T-S-Y, and then you would do backslash shop and then backslash braille cards by Amber. Uh, I don't think it matters if there's capital letters or not in there, but I do have each word capitalized. Um, you can do that or you can get an email out to me at amber.r.morrison, M-O-R-I-S-O-N at gmail.com. Or you can find me on Twitter. Um, my handle is at Braille Cards by Amber. Okay. Thank you, man, man. That's, that's, that's a good thing. I want to thank you for coming to third eye visions again. Uh, y'all definitely support, support this. That's a good thing. I, w- I was very, very impressed. So with that being said, you have any last minute words you'd like to say? Sure. Well, I just want to thank everyone for listening today. And I hope you guys enjoy learning a little bit about what I do, but also um, keep watching for more great stuff from Anthony. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Let me end this. Hold on. Thank you.